Price Computing Scales User's Guide Display and Keypad Tear symbol indicates that the tear is active during weighing. It flashes when the tear is not fixed. It is stationary when the tear is fixed. Tear symbol is valid only for LCD models. Stable symbol indicates that the scale is well stabled and ready to weigh. It turns off while placing or removing the product. If stable symbol is still off after weighing a product, the weight value displayed may be wrong. To make sure weighing is properly done, wait until stable symbol turns on after placing the product on the pan. Zero symbol shows that there is no load on the scale. Before weighing a product, be sure that the pan is empty. If the zero symbol is off, press zero key to set the scale to zero. Battery symbol indicates that the battery is in use. If battery indicator is on, scale is powered by the battery. If battery symbol flashes, it is necessary to charge it. If battery symbol still flashes after charging the battery, it is necessary to change the battery in the shortest period. Scale with LCD has four battery sections, indicating the current charge level of the battery. Also, a battery charging animation is active during charging. Frame around the battery symbol, indicates the power status. If scale is working on battery power, battery frame turns on. If scale is connected to a power supply, battery frame turns off. Just before the battery becomes fully empty, the battery frame starts flashing. Net symbol is on, when there is a tear. Actual weight value displayed, is the net weight value. W1 and W2 show actual weighing range, if the scale is dual range. PLU button is used to recall the pre-stored price value of a certain product. There is 250 PLU storage capacity on the scale. Zero button is used to set the scale to zero. Light button is used to turn the backlight on or off. Light button is valid only for LCD models. F button is used for entering the settings menu, as well as to apply some functions, such as selecting sub-menus in settings, or saving settings parameters. T button is used to set tear. C button is used to reset the unit price. Power button turns the scale on or off. PLU shortcut buttons are used to recall the pre-stored price value of most frequently used products. Weight display area. Unit Price Display Area Total Price Display Area Turning on the scale When the scale is turned on, all segments and symbols are displayed for a short period. Then, factory defaults of major settings are displayed for about 10 seconds. After that, maximum capacity, and division are displayed for a while, and scale gets ready for weighing. Nothing should be placed on the scale until it gets ready for weighing operation. If there is any weight on the scale or if the pan is not placed on the scale, an error message might be seen on display. Be sure that there is no weight on the scale before turning on the device. Weighing the product before weighing the product, make sure that the display value is zero and stable and zero symbols are on. If the value on the display is not zero or stable symbol is not on, press zero button to reset the display. Place the product on the scale gently. Wait until the stable symbol is on again. Enter the unit price of the product. Weight of the product, unit price and total price of the product will be displayed. Important note to remember. 
Never place any load exceeding the maximum capacity of the scale. Maximum capacity is written on the data plate. During weighing, product should be placed on the scale gently. Leaving the product from a certain level of height or throwing it onto the scale, may damage the scale. Storing PLU value To store a price value to a PLU number between 1 and 8, enter the unit price. Then, long press the desired PLU number. Price value will be stored. To store a price value to a PLU number between 9 and 250, enter the unit price. Then long press the PLU button. Enter the PLU number to be stored and wait. Price value will be stored. Recalling PLU value. To recall the PLU, place the product on the scale. Press the desired PLU button. Weight of the product, unit price and total price of the product will be displayed. To recall the PLU between 9 and 250, Press the PLU button. Then enter the desired PLU number. Weight of the product, unit price and total price of the product will be displayed. Fixing the unit price. If you need to use the same unit price for a period of time, you may want to fix it, to skip entering the unit price every time. To do that, long press the F button, to enter the setup menu. Go to set menu 3.2 by using F and 0 buttons as shown. Press T button to turn this option to off mode. Press F button to exit menu. Long press F button to save the setting. Unit price is now fixed and visible on the display, and will no need to enter each time during weighing. Weighing the product with tear. Place the cup on the scale you want to take tear. Wait until the stable symbol turns on. Weight of the cup will be displayed. Press the T button to take tear. Place the product in the cup and wait until stable symbol turns on. Product's net weight will be displayed. Flashing tear symbol means that tear is taken temporarily and will be reset after removing the cup. Scale will return back to its initial condition. To fix the tear, place the cup on the scale you want to take tear. Wait until the stable symbol turns on. Weight of the cup will be displayed. Press the T button twice to take tear and fix it. Place the product in the cup and wait until stable symbol turns on. Product's net weight will be displayed. Stationary tear symbol means that tear is fixed and will not be reset after removing the cup. To enable the fixed tear with a single button, long press F button to enter setup menu. Go to set menu 1.5 by using zero button as shown. Press T button to turn this option to on. Press F button to exit menu. Long press F button to save the setting. Now you can fix the tear only by pressing the T button once. Using the backlight. Press the light button to turn on the backlight. Backlight turns on only during weighing, to save battery. It turns off, after weighing completed. To turn off backlight permanently, press light button again.